and then the A. Then the B. And then the D. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. It's Pentatonic Day. Let's get started. Pentatonic scale is probably the most commonly used scale, whether it's pop, folk, rock, country, jazz, blues, metal, you name it, the pentatonic scale is probably going to be in use. That's the E minor pentatonic today, and we're going to basically learn the five different positions from where we just started here on the open string to the 12th fret, okay? And basically, you're going to start on each one of the different degrees of the scale. So you got E, G, A, B, D, and E. And each one of these will have their own shape. Okay, so we're going to get started on the root position, the open string down here. I'm going to go very slowly. You can refer to the tabs again above. Open, three. Open, two. Open, two. Open, two. Open, three. Open and three. Okay, let's do a descending as well. Three, open, three, open, two, open, two, open, two, open, three, open. Okay, so today's lesson is just a very short lesson to get you to learn the five different shapes, okay? We'll be applying them, and of course, you can check out my Patreon page for my bonus lessons where I have various exercises and demonstrations. Okay, so the next one now, we're gonna start on the third fret. This is actually G, and this is where it could be called G major penta, but we're just gonna call it E minor penta starting on G. Here we go, we're gonna get three, five, two, five, two, five, two, four, three, five, three, five. And you can watch my fingering. Let's do a descending, five, three, Five, three, four, two, five, two, five, two, five, three. I generally like to have my first finger lead, and this kind of helps me, helps guide me. So I'm kind of visualizing this three, two, 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 three, three, as just a guide when I'm playing these. Okay, and you can use whatever finger over here that is most comfortable for you. So let's go to the next position. This one starts on A, the fifth fret here, okay? And I'm not gonna name notes, we're just memorizing patterns and shapes today. Kind of different from my normal lesson where I'm a little bit more theory oriented. This is all about just doing it a lot and memorizing patterns. So here we go, we have five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, Four, seven, five, eight, five, seven. And descending, seven, five, eight, five, seven, four, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five. Okay, that's starting on A, but this is E minor pentatonic. They're all the same five notes all the way through. Next position, we're gonna start on the fifth, B. Okay, so here we go, we have seven, 10, seven, 10, seven, nine, seven, nine, eight, 10, seven, 10. And descending, 10, seven, 10, eight, nine, seven, nine, seven, 10, seven, 10, seven. Okay, this is all E minor pentatonic, the five positions. Well, we have one more, starting on the flatted seven, the, the D. Here we go, D, we have 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 9, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. Descending, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 9, 12, 10, 12, 10. And then finally, we're back to where we started, except we're now in the octave, and we should go through this one because the fingering was different from down here when we did the open strings. 
now we have the 12th fret and we have the box shape that everybody loves. But it's really important that you learn all the other ones that we just went through. Here we go, the final one. I'll yell it out nice and slow. Play it along with me. 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, descending. 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12. down. You don't have to shift. You can even do a descending. 